Hey everybody, I'm Monty Mont. And I'm Tiff. And I'm Leela. And these are a few of our favorite too good we keeping it let's we, go right yeah now. i'm like we roll, let's go we roll. <laughs> hey guys welcome to the show this is our favorite scenes podcast good to be back with you guys again um so glad to have tiff back man we missed her last week but she's back in action once again tiff how you doing i'm great i missed you guys how are you good good you know a lot going on but i'm glad you're doing well uh, yeah of course and we have a special guest with us today um person I've been working with for years, amazing, amazing vocalist. And for what we had to do for this topic, I said, I got to get a vocalist on here, man, for sure. Aside from Tiff, of course. See how he, uh, he just tried, he tried. <laughs> <laughs> right, but so right, it's really nice enough, short notice to come on. Miss Leela Gilbert, how you doing there, Leela? I am blessed and highly favored and so thankful to be a part of our favorite sings. Hey, hey. So appreciative. Thank you for coming on. Yes. So guys, um, you know, Olympics been going on and, um, you know, it's summertime every four years. It's actually the fifth year, COVID, you know, all that. It's going to be last year. And um, one of the things I've always liked about the Olympics is that, you know, whatever uh, event you win, whoever wins it, the, you know, whoever gets the gold, they play that anthem for that person. And I, you know, you hear so many different anthems from different countries and all that, and it means a lot to people. And I, I started to kind of think, I'm like, man, you know, the best anthem, of course, I believe, you know, well, there's, there's, there's two that people kind of say, they say uh, the best rendition of the national anthem was either Marvin Gaye at the um, NBA, at the NBA All-Star Game in Los Angeles or Whitney Houston. Um, and, and the misnomer is that people think Whitney is at the Olympics. It's not at the Olympics. It's at the Super Bowl, actually. It's Super Bowl. People, you know, and so those are two best. And so I said, man, let's just, that'd be great to just kind of break that down, you know, um, with all this Olympics going on and things like that. So um, I had, you know, sent everybody the link, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure y'all already knew it as well. And so let's just very quickly, your reaction. I don't know when the last time you heard it, but hearing it for this show. What's up, Ben? <laughs> My man in the back. Uh, you know, part of the show. Don't y'all don't gotta act new. Y'all know Ben. Y'all yeah. you know. <laughs> So Tiff, what was your reaction rehearing this and hearing this rendition again? Okay. So just as you said before, this is one of the ones that we that everybody kind of remembers, right? The one from Marvin Gaye and definitely Nippy, okay? We love the rendition from Nippy. So to hear it again, it was just, it was perfect. I'm like, oh, I remember this. It kind of brought me back to that time. Cause if I'm not mistaken, it's been about 30 years, right? Since this, okay, so it's been about 30 years. So, so after hearing it, it was like the first time, like I heard it again for the first time. So I, I loved it. I loved listening to it again. Oh yeah, Leela? I feel the same way. I got goosebumps. Mm -hmm. I played it over and got goosebumps all over again. Yes. Um, she didn't waste a breath. She didn't waste a note. Everything fell perfectly into place. And that was, the epitome of control and artistry and skill. Perfect. Perfect. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, I concur with you guys. Like I hadn't really heard it in a while and hearing it, I said, oh my God, because yeah. what I hear a lot of people say, first of all, is the national anthem is very hard to sing. It's hard. It's not an easy song at all. A lot of different movements and all that. And for us, so this she did this in 1991, okay, yeah. and back then, what was going on? We had the Gulf War was going on. It was a lot of kind of uh, 
turmoil. Uh, that Super Bowl, for those sports fans, knows pretty memorable Super Bowl. It was a really good game. The Giants won and all that. It was a lot of culmination with a lot of things happening. And so she just, it, it it's as good. I mean, I don't know if anybody could sing it better. I don't know why we don't, like, just <laughs> play that. We don't need, you know. Play the Whitney <laughs> track. <laughs> yeah, really. Just put that on before a game. To me, I don't know what else we're doing. So I did a little digging, though. Because I remember when I heard, I said, oh, man, this is this is tight. But did you know it was not live? Mm-hmm. I, I, I did that. not know that. Yeah. Because And the thing is, when I first heard it, and she's got an orchestra with her, which I love, all that, all that. But when she, I think she goes to, and the rock is red. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, who's broad stripes? When she goes to that part, it really drops low. And I remember I was like, man, how did they? I was like, that sounds studio ish. Cause I mean, to be live with all those people, you got to have a certain volume. And I just remember I said, huh? And so I looked it up and the or you know, the Super Bowl people were like, there's going to be so many people here and this huge, maybe you should take it. And so um, now, of course, Whitney. Yeah, I, I had no idea that was so now that you've said this. I got to go back and listen, yes. right? <laughs> because I had no idea that it wasn't done live. Right. No, it, and, and she, I mean, she could have done it anyway. But yeah, they, <clears throat> excuse me, they actually, and so then I did not know this. Now, maybe anybody knew this, that they actually released this as, as a, single. a single, which I did not know. Yes. Like yes. it's on iTunes right now. Yes, as a single. And if I'm not mistaken, she's and you guys have to correct me if I'm wrong. I believe she's the only artist that sung the Star Spangled Banner and it's been released as a yes, single. Yes, there's and no, no one other. Else happened for anyone else, yes. It was that popular. And yeah. It was that monumental. So now I want to kind of then transition because in 2021, the national anthem, of course, means some different things and some... Um, different connotations, if you will, and all of that. And I, I'm i I'm gonna tell you this as well. I felt a little sad because going back to that, you know, we're we're all old enough to at least remember 19, early nineties, like it kind of made me sad that man, look at what has changed from then to the, I don't know if anybody else felt that, you know, uh, if that resonates with y'all, please give your thoughts. No, definitely. So the first thing that came to mind was kneeling or standing, right? You know, all of these changes that have come about, I couldn't help but to think about it because honestly, for the last few years, I haven't really paid no mind to nobody singing the national anthem, right? So now when I, when I, when I heard it, it did kind of make me a little sad. I would have to agree. I started to think about that, like, you know, um, Things were as complicated, but we didn't have to, we weren't we weren't dealing with some of the things that we're dealing with now as far as the logistics and things behind the national anthem. So yeah, yeah it made me it made me a little sad for sure. Yeah, Leela. Yeah, overall people looked happier in the crowd. They yeah. genuinely there there weren't scowls and rough looking faces and yeah, just a lot of angst and anger. It's just a uh, camaraderie in the crowd and I, I really did feel that when I was watching I was like look at how happy everybody looks yeah it's so hard to find that these days yes so that's a great point I'm, I I was like I'm not trying to be hokey but I, I was just like man it just looks like everybody's really having a good time not that people don't have a good time in the school yeah. it's like it just seems now everything is so layered and stuff like that and you know you know you talk about the national anthem now, militant brother come up. Brother, do you know the national anthem? It's like, I know, I know, I know militant yeah. brother. And you got a whole nother side of people <laughs> you don't want to even be around with what they represent. It's so much more common. It just, yes. it was a, a high nostalgia factor, high nostalgia mm-hmm. factor, which we probably going to get stumped on this, but I'm going to throw it out there. Who, is there anyone that you would like to hear present day try the national i'm not saying they're going to recreate it because look we didn't i believe the marvin gay one was 84 yes. we talking 84 91 and we i don't know now carl lewis had a infamous um boy i'm not even going well he tried it he tried it and didn't work but is there anybody present day that you could think of any artist 
that you would like to hear even try the national anthem? You know what I mean? Is there anybody that pops to mind, Lila? I think an organically beautiful voice is possessed by Adele. Yeah, well, that's true. Yeah. That would be a good he one. has a really organic sound that is just good singing. So I'd like to hear her do it. It'd be, it'd be a little weird for Adele to do it. <laughs> Since she's, not American. <laughs> she's not American. But her no. voice, yeah. But voice wise, I think that was I think that was a really good choice. Yeah. I didn't know. I mean, Tiff, you already know how I feel about Adele. Voice. I know you yeah, and you love Adele. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, that's a good question, Monty. I'm not, I'm not really sure if I, if there is one, there's not an artist that comes to mind, honestly, for me. You know, like I was thinking and I, I just heard her do something, you know, kind of forgot about her a little bit, uh, legend, but like, I've never heard like Kim Burrell try the national anthem. Mm. I know she's got the range. And I know Kim would maybe jazz it up a little bit. And that's the thing too, I, well, I'm, I'm gonna get to that in a second because I just yeah. love the arrangement, but I'm gonna get to that. I think, you know, I heard Kim just do something recent. I kind of forgot, I was like, man, she, she still, oh, she yeah. still do some things with that voice. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> but other than that, I don't, you know, I mean, there's some good, you know, what's the Lord? See, don't let me try to say modern people now, but the launch, she's really little, very petite. Not a, a, a um, grande, grande. Ariana. Ariana Grande. Yeah. Very good voice. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know if she would really blow me away with it. You know what I mean? She'd be fine. You know, and yeah, these people could sing, but um, other than that, I really can't think of a male singer. I don't, I don't really. And I want to. I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. I'm... <laughs> But I'm trying to think a male singer. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. I don't really know. Like, you see, nobody is just popping to my mind. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't know. Sorry, brothers. We uh yeah. <laughs> we stumped on that. Yeah, that's this, but isn't that weird? <laughs> because it seems like back in them days, you could have just picked, you know what I mean? Any it's a lot of guys back that sang, and maybe it just speaks to the times we're in, but so, mu so musically, though, I love the arrangement. I love, I love the orchestra with her as well. I really feel like the anthem should be with an orchestra if you're going to do it right. Mm -hmm. I really, I just, I, I really felt like whoever was the production behind that really did a good job. Because if you guys watch it, if you listen to it, but if you watch it as well, excellent. Excellent production. I don't know if there is there any other anthem that you guys have heard that would even stack up to what we we heard with Whitney like. And see now that's the thing because now you've already set the bar so high, right? Mm -hmm. So it's so hard now to 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 try to even think of an artist that's even reached that level. And I honestly I cannot. I cannot. Yeah. <laughs> I agree that, with you, Tiffany. I cannot. Our, yeah, they're, and like, that was thirty. That was thirty years ago. Thirty. That's what I'm it, saying. It still can't be touched. No. So. Just the fact. Okay. Oh, oh, wait. Okay. One. Ha, ha, one does come to mind, only because, like, okay, so now, you know, when the Super Bowl happens, uh, you know, they actually will take bets on how long it's going to be. You know what I mean? Like, you know, people bet on anything. And now, this was not the Super Bowl. This was Thanksgiving. Aretha Franklin did it and played, she was like on the organ or on the panel, played at in uh, in Detroit, because you know, Thanksgiving is always a game in Detroit. Aretha's got on a huge mink, <laughs> and I'll never forget. Aretha, she was like, bloom, bloom, bloom. <laughs> I was like, yo, what? I mean, that was the longest like the players hey, on the field kind of looking like, yo, <laughs> you look that one up, Rika took us. Oh my God, it was so long. But honestly, that's the only other one that, huh. other than that is bloopers, you know, it's like people messing it up, but I can't. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's been some, some memorable ones, but when you talk about that level, no. 
because you know of course i'm gonna say beyonce did a memorable one right okay. but but i won't where was that at okay. you know where she i believe was. it was super bowl too if i'm not mistaken she do a super bowl yeah I, yeah i think she did and but you know again we can't we just can't put it's like nippy <laughs> and then right. everybody right. else like it's nobody yeah you can't it's whitney in her lane and then everybody else and then everybody else yeah <laughs> Yeah. Okay. See, I'm looking. There's a few. Uh, Jennifer Hudson did it once at the Super yeah. Bowl. Demi Lovato, Carrie Underwood. Uh, oh no. See, that's Beyonce did it at the inauguration in 20. That was actually, you know, that was, okay. Now that I'm looking at it, that was a pretty good one. And now when you okay, so now you were talking about how Whitney's was was not live, right? Beyonce also was not live. And then she got a little slack about it and then came back on TV the next day and sung it live. Like, okay, like, let's not get it twisted. Now I can. I yeah, didn't, uh, but I can. But, okay. <laughs> now, Tiff, I know you have an accomplished career. You know, we gonna yeah. just, but I'm gonna throw this to Lila now because that's what I wanna talk about next. Right. Some people honestly might not, we might be breaking news like, what, she didn't sing it live and all yes. that. But so Lila, you, of course, you sing live a lot. But what is it though like for a singer? Because sometimes I tell people something, here's the thing too, <laughs> for churches, ever since the pandemic, everybody's been streaming. And now everybody's like, man, why don't we sound, what's that? why does it sound different? It don't sound, because I'm like, well, because you're listening to it in a different way than it is live. So, and I'm like, sometimes the singers can hear right. There's so many other factors. So can you kind of break down, like when you're singing live, what is a good element for a singer and what is kind of what would make it hard for a singer? You know what I mean? For live singing. Mm -hmm. um, the number one thing is health. Mm. So mm. I wrestle with sinus problems. And so it depends on, you know, how healthy I am that day, whether I can hear well, whether I can breathe well, whether I can get notes out clearly. Um, but then uh, another factor to that would be the sound itself. So the microphones and, and whether they have enough um, bass in it, you know, it, because I don't have a heavy voice. So I need that fortitude to kind of carry it and make it a little more full. Um, and then, you know, it just it, it could be just the crowd. <laughs> So, you know, and just the warfare that you could be going through in the midst of that, because that's all I know is, is, is um, church singing. So sometimes you just flat out being fought, you know, you, you, you had to fight to get there and now you fighting while you're up there with the mic, you know, and that's why we fight through it. And so there, there are um, spiritual and natural things that you do have to face and deal with in order to get through it. And at the end of the day, it can't be about the pats on the back and the compliments and accolades because that's not what it's about. And, you know, you could, you could step down from there and everybody's, you know, feeling it. And you could be like, oh, that was terrible. And you yeah. beating yourself up and just mad, you know, but that's not what it's about. So there are a lot of different things that you can face um, that can be a hindrance, but then there's some things that could be a help. You know, if you, if you are in good health, if everything is going well, you just flat out feel like knocking the devil out. So yeah. those are things that do absolutely help. <laughs> that's that's a great uh, perspective because I mean it's, I mean I've seen it. There's sometimes where you know you can. I've worked with people I've worked with for so long. I can tell if like, man, you know something's off and all that. But still, somehow it'll minister to the crowd even when it's you know if I've not played my best or whatever. You know what I mean? It's like man, but it works other times. I feel like we killed it in the crowd. Just kind of, I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> I was blessed by it. Maybe y'all wouldn't, <laughs> you know, I don't know, but um, that's a good point. And to speak, and I want to say real quick too, a, part, a factor, because I remember Tiff, what you said with Beyonce and everybody got on her, but understand something. This is at the inauguration. So I'm sure she couldn't just run up to the White House and do a sound check the date before. And, you know, you got to do stuff on the fly. So I would have suggested to take that too. There's, when you're on a different element, you know, you're working with, you know, there's just no way to do things the right way. So I remember, I remember that. Everybody all can't believe she was listening. Yeah. There's a reason for that. There's a lot of different factors. Well, but I don't understand why there would be a dissatisfaction with the song or with the singer 
just because they didn't do it live that day. They've set the precedence that they've earned their spot up there. Whoa. Yeah. Like so does it have to be live? Is it live or is it Memorex? You can, you know, either way, we still enjoyed it. <laughs> that is such a great point. And this is not like this, this wasn't a concert. So, right. you know, right. it's not like we were paying to see this. So no, That's I right. absolutely agree with that. That makes yeah. so much sense. Yeah. yeah. Like it's the inauguration. You got one shot. Like you got <laughs> to make sure this is, they're going to play this for, forever. You can't, you know, yeah. um, but that's a, I love that perspective too, where you said it. I, re, I remember a speaker came to our church, very uh, famous, Juanita Bynum came to our church, like to preach. And the day before she actually flew her sound guy in to set the sound exactly how he she wanted it. And I was there and he was like, this is how it is, don't touch nothing else. He didn't even stay and he flew right back out. But it was that important for her because she had to have it in her ear a certain kind of way for her to be comfortable. Um, and so I think too, with, with singers, if I could just kind of speak on it as well, like Lila said, is people have different kind of voices, different, mm -hmm. different tenors in their voice and kind of strong singers, light singers and all that. And then so many factors go into that. And, and it's not just the gift because, you know, your gift will, will be there, but there's things that help along the way to try to make things, uh, the best. And so even with this, with, with what Whitney did at, at the, the Super Bowl, you know, she could have done it live, but I feel like we really got her best yeah. being able to record it and take a little time. Yeah. That's what I feel. And like Leela said, she's already earned. So, I mean, I don't know why people would even feel right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, so guys, we, um, I, I don't know. I, I'm looking again at some of these and I mean, I mean, again, there's good thing, Lady, Lady Gaga and Pink. Mm -hmm. and, okay, and um, see again, I'm not seeing many brothers though, <laughs> even in this. Neither, this year. I'm not. Hmm. <laughs> Vanessa Williams, she did it in '96. Williams, yeah. Luther also did it, right? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Maybe. Luther Vandross yeah. has done it. Um. Let's see. I see T Pain did it. I don't know about that version. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but okay, now real quick. He can actually kind of sing. No, he really can. Without I don't know the auto -tune. auto tune thing that yeah. he kept doing was he yeah. can actually kind of sing, but he just did that auto tune. Brothers, let's come up, man, because I'm looking through this list. I'm just not seeing. You know, no. Mark Anthony. Okay, I guess so. Is he from? I can't remember. Wow. Okay. Well. Yeah, guys. I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing any men. I'm sorry. I'm scrolling. And I don't see you. <laughs> oh, come on, fellas. <laughs> I guess, uh, yeah. Wow, that's interesting to see. But, you know, okay. Well, guys, we wanted to get a quick one in. I guess when this airs, I think the Olympics will just be winding up. But mm -hmm. check out, if you haven't, I'm sure a lot of people might not know, a lot of young people that maybe check us out, because this was in 91. But Right. Check that out. You know, let's just put aside, let's put aside our social media things for just a minute. Just enjoy it. Please, just nothing else. I don't need no more comments about it. We already know where we yeah. are in America. <laughs> it's crazy we gotta say that, but it is really amazing. Then check out, check out Marvin Gaye. Now, okay, let's let's hit that very quickly because we want okay. Marvin Gaye did a total different. You know, now I said we. I wanted the orchestra and all that, all that. Marvin just had somebody on keys and a groove. Man. And it, honestly, musically, it's genius. It is because mm -hmm. nobody would have thought to do something like that to know Nashville. No. He got on shade. Marvin is Marvin. <laughs> yeah, he go. Yeah. Marvin go Marvin. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Marvin go Marv. That's all we get. That's, <laughs> That's right. Marvin go Marv. Yeah, Marvin go like Marv. that. Yeah, I mean, he got on shade, and yeah. but the app is in L.A. It just felt like an L.A. version of it. It's yeah. perfect. I mean, it's it's so mellow and so cool, and people people were just blown away by that. So yeah, check both of those out too. Yeah. So, um, okay. Well, guys. Thank y'all for coming on. I wanted to just get this in. Thank you, Leela. We had to get a, a singer's perspective as well. My Thank you pleasure. So much. So good. my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Yes, most definitely. Tiff, you got anything else? No, that's all I have. That was great, guys. So uh, you know, again, we uh we talk about songs and we just lead the politics. We'll do we'll talk some politics, but not today. Not today. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be back with something. Something will happen. Some go okay. jump off, and we'll get back. And we'll to that. be back. <laughs> I really just wanted to, you know, 
you wanted to hit that. Um, you know, I'm surprised Bobby didn't try to do one, Bobby Brown, because you know he he can't. He just he don't like to be overshadowed. You know, Bob. At all. I'm surprised we didn't get a my prerogative version, but probably <laughs> the better. Than R&B. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> guys, this is our favorite things podcast. You know, check us out, Mighty Sharp Network. Please subscribe YouTube. And also on wherever you can get your podcast, that is Spotify, that is iTunes, that is Google Play as well. Give us a rating and a like. It means it very much. We appreciate it. And you know what to do. Please be blessed and stay sharp. Thank you, Leela. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.